question for everybody. I've seen a, a lot of these going around and a lot of people participate, which I think is a lot of fun. These challenges, motor vlog challenges. That's pretty cool. But I wonder, you know, what's more fun? To come up with the challenge or to do the request of the challenge? And that's kind of where I want to take the conversation today. Are you a leader or are you a follower? Let's get into it. I think most of us would probably say that we're the little bit of both, right? Depending upon the circumstance in our life, whether we're the eldest at a job or the dad of the kids or, or whatever's going on. Some of us, I think we'd be comfortable saying that we need to do both, right? We're followers and we're leaders. We're watchers and we're players. But where does that leave us in the motor vlog YouTube world? Where do you fit in? I think I'm more of just a do what I want kind of a guy. Shoot, guy behind us. You know, sometimes it's fun to partake in the challenges and sometimes it's just fun just to go out and ride and not talk, just to go for a ride. Well, we are just kind of out chit-chatting. That's kind of what I want to talk about. You know, what's what's on your mind? I don't really, sometimes I don't have anything really to say. And it's if I do, it's normally something that's happening in my life. I'm not too influenced, I guess, by social media and trying to keep on trend, stay on point with what's happening in the world. I just like what's going on with me. You know, make a little chit chat about that and hopefully some other people like what's going on with me. But you never know, you know. I guess if you're chasing the dream of being an ultimate YouTuber, maybe you need to follow the trends. Stay on top of what people are interested in. You know, follow what's happening with what's really popular. But what what is what makes it popular, right? Who was the guy that originally about got a squirrel? And what about the guy that stuck his neck out and put it out there? And then everybody decided, oh, that was pretty cool. Oh, I'm gonna copy what he did. You know, and I guess the way I look at it is, you know, it's kind of like a relationship, right? In all relationships, there's a little level of compromise, but in all relationships, regardless if it's your home life or your work life, or if you're a kid, if it's your school life, there has to be some sort of direction applied. Who's applying that direction? Who's giving you the focus? The drive to do whatever it is that you are that you're doing. And that brings me back to the beginning. If you're a follower or if you're a leader, you know that in society we need leaders. We need strong leaders and we need people to come up with not necessarily game changing opportunities, but appropriately timed and procured plans, right? In all aspects of life work, home. I mean, it's all quite similarly placed. But you can't always expect to be the leader. At some point, someone will challenge that point of your life and say, hey, I want to be the leader. And how you handle that is also the great quality of being a leader. When you know it's time to step down, when you know it's time for someone to take the lead from you and you become a follower. I just think that's a great concept to be able to hold on to, to live by, and to kind of work towards. What do you guys think? I don't know. I'm just enjoying this ride as we kind of get a little bit deep in conversation today. But let me know what you think. Let's we'll make this a nice short and sweet today. Leave a comment. Love to hear from you guys. 
give me a like. If you find this interesting, please consider subscribing for more content like this. A nice little ride in the countryside. And we'll look forward to hearing from you guys. Until then, this is Mike with Ace Cafe Bikes. We go.